everyone, welcome to episode 200 of Michael and Ivanka's Grand Podcast, a weekly uh, an, a, a podcast series that took us probably about 170 episodes to figure out what the subject of the episode, and it turned out to be to figure out what we think about everything. My name's Michael Forrest, still. And I'm Ivanka Magic. And um, oh, I've, just learned, <laughs> I've just learned a new technique, which is the uh, time delay, because you're in Croatia and I'm in London, always leaves a slightly awkward gap between me saying my name and you saying your name. But I can just fill that and go, still, and then it's going to be seamless. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, but I mean, today is a special episode and possibly quite a sad situation because we've, we've decided 200 episodes is a pretty good place to go to park this podcast for a bit and say uh, um, it's uh, it's time to like apply everything we've we've learned doing this and take it to something that maybe offers people a bit more value to people to a few more people I know that you know let, please let us know if this has as it exists value to you but it, it, it feels like we, we kind of painted ourselves into the most difficult possible corner of content creation in terms of discoverability and in terms of it spreading so you know it felt like a good time and to celebrate I'm also going to make all of the video episodes available we're going to switch off the Patreon thank you Bruce thank you Sharon thank you uh was it Veronica is that right David as well David I guess our, our, our few patrons who've have, have supported us um, in some small way um, we'll, we'll, we'll be just cranking that power off and I'm just going to be re- releasing all the YouTube episodes but yeah today so we're going to do a bit of a retrospective today aren't we we are we're going to do a retrospective and I think I'd like to add that when you said you know apply everything we've learned not just in terms of podcasting or podcasting mm. but in terms of living Hmm. <laughs> it's like we've processed quite a few topics i think hmm. over the last sure 200 episodes 199 episodes that you know have left left me with some more conclusions about my life some more you know a bit more uh, i don't know set understand what my opinions actually are perhaps hmm. a, bit, a bit better and what I'd like to do and where I am. So yes, I'm looking forward to having, well, you know, we may, who knows, we might be, it doesn't have to be gone forever, but for now, this is our last episode. This is indeed, certainly the last episode of season five. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna say hi to Shaz, who is in the chat. Hello, Sharon, it's nice to see you. And um, let's, pl- I'm gonna press it next on Beach Sheet, available at squares.tv slash Beach okay um it auto trans always does that so how's your i get again it's been a bit of a gap but how what's what's the best thing and feel free to you know, talk about whatever, because this is retrospective. How's, yeah. What's been happening? What's the best thing that's happened to you in the last couple of weeks? I should have prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Why break a habit of 200 episodes? I uh, I think the thing that I'm enjoying most at the moment is the garden. Mm-hmm. The old garden. <laughs> I'm turning eh? into sort of like little old lady who like potters around a garden. You should see the size of our sage. Oh, Sage is a good one. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> the uh, the so the garden is a good thing, but also I had a little coup, a coup in terms of my beach cleaning activities in the local area. I had a victory, a minor victory, where a few years ago when I first took my daughter along to the nursery here when she was I don't know three and a half something like that, we um, that I was invited to parents eat. And I suggested that we take the children on a little beach clean. Oh, no, they said they will get stabbed by needles. They will get AIDS. (laughs) The reaction was one of horror, Mm. absolute horror. They're scared of their beaches. They're scared. Well, they're scared of the kids cleaning the beach. They they think, I mean, one does 
one does find medical detritus certainly when be right. beach cleaning but not as often as i think you might think mm -hmm. i think there's much more chance i mean uh, in a city if you're picking up litter and you're a small child you may come across discarded drug paraphernalia as they call mm -hmm. it but most of the beaches around here aren't really that littered in that way but anyway um there i was sitting at home on tuesday minding my own business when the head mistress of the nursery phoned me up and i went oh hello what on earth can i do for you and she said i would like to join your beach cleaning your cleaning teddy bears she said come in and talk to us all she said i was like that is Oh, it's just a major victory for You're me. I'm just cooing so left, right delighted. and centre, aren't you, at the moment? Beach cleaning, <laughs> stitching, bitching, all sorts. Like, it's just, if I think it's making the impact oh, yeah. on the local area. So, <laughs> so I was very, very happy about that. So there you go. That's my biggest, yeah. bestest thing that's happened in the last little while, for sure. Spectacular work. What about you, Michael? <laughs> Awkward pause. <laughs> um, uh, I like to wait. Um, I'm just gonna. I, uh, mine are just much more nerdy, and I don't like. I see. You may see that I am standing up. Um, yes. I uh, I was on the 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 chat with customer support to IKEA, who had sent me a second power supply for the thing, and um, it still didn't work. And then I got this thing, and because I bought it in Berlin, and then moved back to the UK it was like I wasn't really covered in quite the same way and I'd have to go to Berlin and then they'd have to ship a motor or something to me or a leg and it was going to get messy so I thought let's I mean how much can there be to this it's just a motor so I mm, figured out how indeed. to just directly like power the motor from the power supply with you know I, I've been watching a lot of electro boom on uh, on YouTube and his shtick is he teaches you about electricity and stuff but electrocutes himself about six times per episode and goes ah! and bleeps out some swearing <laughs> so i was like i'm just gonna electro boom this and i actually managed to um yeah i, I managed to uh get the desk I thought, well, I thought the problem isn't that i want the desk to be able to be raised and lowers it's that i want it to be raised and then you know i've got a high chair that i can sit on so i did that so, so yeah i managed to go and make the motor go on on both sides and now i've left i've got some hanging out crocodile clips so if i do need to adjust it again i can do it Very so cool. yeah like no need to buy a new desk or anything like that and i found like the pcb in there had snapped it's got a really thin point of connection and for something that is going to be moved like furniture probably not the best design idea um no. but i think i might even try and make my own controller for it next Wow. Can't learn. you fix can't you fix the mend? Uh no, it's just like the PCB's got these tiny uh I don't I don't think I can connect them because it's all quite tight and small. You you may already know this trick. Mm. So forgive me if oh. I'm teaching you to suck probably eggs. Don't. I probably don't. Sometimes <laughs> if you if you strip out some wire and just get one of the thinner um out of some mains cable, mm. one of the thinner pieces Those of copper and then solder that and like just make it make a bridge. I suppose I could try anyway. it's just there's four very close together yeah. ribbons on one Messy. side and there's one on the other side so I don't know I also maybe I, maybe I should try that but I now I like the idea of making my own so okay sorry <laughs> sorry anyway that that, that, <laughs> that would be good. more fun um also I but I'm just going to keep talking a couple of other things this week because I don't care on, about the format on. anymore because it's <laughs> um do you like my uh my um the t-shirt I got at DragCon it's um it's uh that's what it is it's alaska there's um Alyssa edwards there's a ben de la creme um from snatch nice. game uh bought at rupaul's drag con 2020 just before the dawn of covid um i uh i released i shipped i, I messed up shipping a new version of my app but i'm confident that this is gonna pay the bills ka now so that's all i'm gonna say okay, about that good. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's let's watch uh, let's watch a break on that. Let's watch a video. Awkward meandering thing. Bit of Brick Lane. 
I, mean, I sort of went back was... through the, the video clips history to see what I could find. I in fact picked up some colourful ones. I've noticed we've got some viewers. Now I'm scared. Um... <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, we should have been more professional at the yeah, beginning. We should have prepared. Um, right. So what, 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 what have we what? learned? I, I noticed that you said like you've learned what your opinions are about things. I think one of the most significant things I've learned from doing this podcast is that my opinions aren't necessarily facts. <laughs> oh, you funny boy. Um, <laughs> I, uh, uh, yeah, no, I think I'm just more comfortable talking about my opinions. Mm. Like, you know, I've practiced talking about them in public, essentially, and on record with yeah. you. Uh, <laughs> yes, sort exactly. Of, bit of a bizarre uh, approach perhaps so sort of d using using a public and recorded discourse with you to then go into my real life in front of mm. real people and just feel a bit more comfortable and a bit more solid in what I'm saying so when people go ah oh, blah 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 trans rights or whatever I can go mm. well actually I have you know there is a different way of thinking about this or blah blah whatever mm. it might be so I think I've got a bit more um I think in that respect it has made me more comfortable. Like we've practiced some of the fears I've had about whether I think is what I think is, I don't know, valid. I don't know. Is that a bit lame to say? But you know, like, do do I really think that? And sometimes I think it's. Uh, I I got asked to do a contract recently, and I and I declined it on the grounds that I knew there was a bit too much work for me to do to work out whether I was comfortable in my opinion of it you know like I I, I could because I I think that there's some things that uh some having read and talked about lots of different things on this podcast there are some general life things that I am more comfortable in my opinion of yeah. or I'm more willing to, to to sort of go right okay so I can change my opinion on that and that's okay and I have evolved my opinion of other things but it but when with regards to this tech this particular contract it's to do with some technology that I know I don't know enough about mm -hmm. so and I and and I was happy to say, you know, I'm sorry, I, I, got, I haven't got time right now to do the reading required to decide whether I think this is something I agree with or not. Hmm. Because that's okay. another thing I've learned on this is the sort of like, eh, I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you still know yourself better, maybe. Or you yeah, that's maybe that's is, the thing. Like, yeah. We kind of understand where, where we're coming from. I think um, a major... I think I've had an interesting journey in terms of like stuff that I would not be thinking about if it were not for this podcast, Probably, like the environment nearly as much. Yeah. Although I think that's kind of the zeitgeist has been sort of on an uptick for the last for the duration yeah. of this podcast, like independently of us talking about it, because uh, we were, you know, uh, you know, three, four years ago, we, it was a complaint that it was never mentioned on the news when it was this huge emergency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, now yeah. it's sort of a pretty common talking point. Um, but uh, it was just something I think I actually my journey was like, I don't want to think about it. And then it was really good to do this podcast because I had to think about it <laughs> every week yeah. or two uh, invariably. But then I got sort of a bit like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What can I do? And then I have sort of come a little bit out the other side of that now and sort of like George Monbiot's uh, thing of, you know, just, just don't take so many flights and uh, be a vegetarian. And I'm like, well, I'm already doing one of those. So it's, it's yeah, 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 yeah. And the rest of it has to be systemic. And this whole thing yeah. of your what's your carbon footprint is this is a you know, BP campaign. Or it's, it, you know, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's made to sort of put the onus on us to solve something that has to be solved yeah. institutionally. So just my my political perspective has definitely been forced to get a lot more sophisticated than it was before and also just to realize yeah. that that privilege of not engaging with posit politics which i sort of you know i i didn't notice it was a privilege until you know yeah i getting think on this yeah 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 i think the uh the whole the pr privilege is definitely a thing that we've unpacked or and i've unpacked i've understood for myself better um uh, I think, yeah. So that I, so that I feel I'm a bit more aware of where I am or aren't privileged. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, or or to what degree I am privileged, and and be more aware of those who aren't. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and you know what what role or what power I have. I think that's another interesting thing that's come. Like you do have you know, many of us have power that we can mm. use for others. That sort of stuff that's made me. I've I've enjoyed that meander as well. Because yeah. um, I I think with a lot of the stuff that I would know, you know, I would listen to or, or talk about with my friends, you know, this word performative, it's yeah. like you know, saying the thing without really understanding what you're saying or why you're saying it or what it means. Or I've I've enjoyed this weekly reflection. Yes. I think. Yeah, it's definitely okay. been uh, valuable to. It's, it's, it's good. And I think we, um, you know, uh, I think we've generally had a, you know, been able to keep a conversation going. Um, I think one thing we learned uh, early on is uh, apparently food can be a sensitive subject. Yes. <laughs> it was a big surprise to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To both of us, I think it was like that's the yeah yeah, yeah I forgot about that actually. That was one of the, 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 the one of the few episodes where we sort of fell out a bit, I think. But I think we've done pretty <laughs> well. Was. Otherwise, given that we are prone yeah, yeah. to, we have in the past been prone to a row. But uh, I think, yeah, yeah, <laughs> true. It's true. It's, it's, I forgot about true. the food. I was, food I was, gate. you know, I'm doing my hard line thing and not really thinking about what that sounds like to someone that doesn't want to embrace my uh my way of doing it but mine is the truth though so <laughs> what's the problem just saying facts <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. humbling is that's, what i think people say oh yeah yeah I, I that was that i forgot i totally forgotten about that the thing that i i went back and listened to our first episode this morning mm. and remembered why i said yes it was like you know i enjoyed listening back to it it was not a, it, you know even with all the things wrong with it the fact that we'd sort of sat down recorded a conversation which i wasn't unhappy you know i was happy to listen to it, it made me smile mm. i mean it i'll probably enjoy listen listening to it in a way that nobody else would because mm. it's like listening to your diary <laughs> <laughs> yeah. almost like oh that was a time like yeah we were talking about this and and you know i'm not i've never you know that, like I've, I've had the but the thing then that came to my mind of the the one episode that i would that i don't like is the swearing one the swearing i never one. went back to <laughs> <laughs> but we just like you said a lot of sweet words it, it was like i feel I mean, we ate too many sweets and then i felt sick at the end i was like ah, oh, no, i don't want anyone you know i was like ah, oh, i can't talk about that was my but, but we did favorite. come out of that with a policy i think you know it was worth <laughs> yeah. just uh, i think um i think yeah. it's a rite of passage for every podcaster you see like that you know the richard herrings of the world and uh you know buxton even um like early on the podcast they just everything is swearing because they're so used to not being allowed to swear on, on, on TV and stuff. Yeah. So I think it's sort of like you have to get it out of your system a little bit and we did. <laughs> yeah, but it was like, it, well, I definitely uh, ate too many sweets for me sort of episode. <laughs> like, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> oh dear. Let's do it. Let's do a break clip. Some depressing sights there. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, Anti-vax <laughs> protest in central London. Uh, so, um, oh. do you know what? I think because, well, I don't know if we've still got them. Um, we've got some people, like if anyone's on chat, like feel free to, like, are you long-term listeners? Have you just jumped in today? Are you literally my immediate family? Like, um, <laughs> I just want to say hi and say, I can see there's a number. It might be the wrong number actually knowing um, knowing uh knowing ecam it might be giving me the wrong number but i can see there's a number so if you've got any thoughts or favorites or suggestions you know i don't know i don't know what to ask for really well what was your favorite moment of michael and <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I'm, i've got a comment unrelated hello yeah, people listening I feel i feel a bit um uh weird having people listening but you know there you are it is a podcast. a podcast but my little story my little story about the week that's unrelated to people listening but very related to your anti-vax mark so there's a bit of it there's a chicken pox thing going around at the moment yeah. and there's a uh, three people three kids haven't caught it uh my daughter and two others all three of which are vaccinated against chicken pox right it's crazy 
Absolutely. So they were anti vax but they were vaccinated. Sorry. No, no. No, no, no. My kids, yeah. my child yeah. and a couple of others yeah. are vaccinated against chicken pox. Yeah. Which is whereas nobody else is. And everyone else has got chicken pox uh, yeah. and Sorry. our children haven't. <laughs> Did <laughs> I tell the story of, the wrong way around? Is, no, this is the downside of having chat up that I uh, I see chat and then my brain goes, <laughs> I didn't hear the start of what you said. <laughs> this is why maybe the podcast uh, isn't a live thing. Um, yeah, Shaz yeah. says feminism was a classic. I feel um, I didn't know there was a vax for chicken pox. So yeah, there stuff. is. In, in the NHS, you have to pay for it, but right. many places... You- Europe, you get it as standard. Right. So, uh, and a friend of mine has my sciencey friend, uh, mum friend, was like, "Oh yeah, I'm paying for this." Uh, her, her, she always does a um, side effects of disease versus side effects of vaccine kind of cost benefit analysis, and she's like, "I can afford to pay. I'm paying," and I'm delighted to say that I can afford to pay, and I did. <laughs> so there you go. go Another crazy. disease the child doesn't have to have, because uh, I had it horribly when I was a kid. Oh, I, I had the, oh, I was so ill. I know I Whereas had my brother mumps. had like three spots. Yeah. Oh. I think I had chicken pox, but it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah. I had them everywhere. Anyway. It's, Eyeballs, it's, ears. It's bad news. It's, it's anyway. Good. Disease is not great. I don't know why everyone's so no, into getting diseases avoid. now. <laughs> no, I don't. Stop, stop. Why are you into it's getting like... diseases? They're bad. They suck. <laughs> <laughs> Take the microchip. Um, um, I... Fem- I, God, yeah, I so feminism was it. so Sharon says feminism is a classic, but that's because she, uh, um, you know, because she likes listening to me talk about myself. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel kind of guilty about that feminist because there's there, there's another podcast, uh, uh, the Complete Guide to Everything, uh, where yeah. when they what what they will do is they will they've done a couple of times is tease like a hot topic political subject but they're very non-political on the podcast so they right. sort of like take the sub put the subject on the thing and then like pretend to keep getting distracted by mundane stuff and just talk the whole episode and then never actually get to the point and so i was sort of channeling a bit of that on our feminism one episode because i had this idea of like there's actually anti-feminism is so stupid that you can literally just say like are women people yes so shut up (laughs) like you think women aren't people so therefore uh, i mean that's madness um but uh, this and then it was just me talking about going to the a and e for my kidney stone (laughs) emergency um people enjoyed that i remember tom saminsky enjoyed that episode as well (laughs) But I wish I hadn't hijacked feminism to do it because it was like, here's an episode about feminism where a white man talks about himself for, you know, 45 (laughs) minutes and the pain of childbirth and stuff. It wasn't my fault. The doctors kept saying it. Um, Yes. So, but yeah, if you did want to go back to that one and hear about my trials and tribulations of my hospital thing and then feminism two. Feminism two is a good one on actual feminism. Um, my kidneys yeah every time i i feel a slight sort of like hum of like is there something is that an an ache i get super paranoid that <laughs> i'm gonna be in agony yeah. but I guess like, you would. literally nothing has happened since the morphine wore off so i think we're all good <laughs> there is a video Very of good. me on morphine that i should i could probably drop in here if it wasn't probably up on icloud and takes two minutes to download and i have to find it and root it out um (laughs) there we go um i've I've got we've got the the grandpodcast.com i'm just scrolling through we've we've um I, I've I've liked the episodes where we've gone through something like a document or a blog or just read something together going through that report on poverty in the uk was a major i you know that i've i still find that really important as a like a because you you know taking the time to 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 read it is one thing and not just take the headlines but then to talk about it as well and read it i I found that uh, it was such a massive eye opener as well um that you're kind of and when people go oh then then you're like no (laughs) incredible how much it's been sort of like eh, dismissed that's so damning and so you know like in terms of like what the conservative party in this country has done it's so damning and it's just incredible that it's not had any 
real effect on people's perception or anything because it's like this third party Whoa. report on like how anyway but i did i and that so if anyone like it is an amazing document and i did read the whole thing out for a sort of bonus bit of content if anyone wants to listen to me reading through a document because um it is a bit much to sit down and read through but if you just want to like listen to it i did read it out that was as one one piece of public surface service that i achieved in the yeah, yeah. name of this it's... podcast that was very uh but yeah i i have enjoyed those episodes because and i think we did we did a few of those when there you know there wasn't enough time to go and read something or go in because we've tried to fit this around everything else we're doing mm -hmm. and then but sometimes taking the time using our time together to actually go through something has been very it's nice to do something <laughs> together because it's like when else are you going to do <laughs> no. it sometimes it's, yeah, it's hard like, to yeah, know yeah, yeah. um yeah all right, breaklet. for you there and that was do you know i um before this podcast started I, uh, I i did this music project where i was trying to make a little bit of music every day and um i recorded and the idea was i was going to find collaborators musical collaborators and just here's some beats like you know let's have a listen see if there's something you like and we'll do a track together and um and then the podcast came along and i just found they were the perfect little vignettes <laughs> perfect little thing to sort of break up the podcast and so the, the the upside is we had loads of music and a lot of people have um been positive about the music on this podcast which sort of makes me happy because yes. you know it's, it's, I, I often feel like a terrible fraud uh, if i say i make music ever but you know all the music on this podcast and it is i think it's a nice part of it um it is um, but yeah, it's, it's sort of like I've never really done anything with any of these tracks. Now. <laughs> the only one I ever even revisited was the title one because I wanted to fix up the mix a bit and give us a bit of a, a music bed to talk over in the intro and play my moog guitar over it. That's on the, on the guitar. But um, yeah, it's, but it's, um, you know, maybe I'll, it, it, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll start another batch of daily songs or something at some point and just like i don't know try and get myself onto a musical mission um because you know these these have served these have done well this like 50 odd tracks that i put together um coming up to this podcast um i was gonna say one thing that i that we've sort of come back to every so often that we we certainly had a an interesting understanding of it to start with early on and we did a couple of episodes and we've revisited it in different forms but money and capital are something that we've continually yeah. been trying to get our heads around and and there is and it is the, the more i learn about how money works the more it's 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 crazy really because <laughs> because we we talk about it we talked about it as sort of like this you know your mum you know you got to make your dad impressed with you by getting your number up by making your own pile yeah. um that aspect of it early on in this scorekeeping thing of it but one thing we did really did not understand to start with was the whole the role of um how money changes in what it actually is once it gets to a certain level and suddenly becomes something you once it becomes capital that becomes wealth generating in itself that was something i just really didn't have any concept of before this podcast and, no. and it's and, and the good thing about getting down your thoughts on something is that then you can see it's much easier to see the gaps in them and continue to learn and then you come back to it and then it's like oh you know you filled in some more gaps and you know our most recent invest um episode was investing um, on money and that and that's really something that I've just like everything I like to learn these things by trying it so I've been sort of trying it trying looking at the line going up and down um, in the context of what real money is but yeah like I didn't even have any con I 
I didn't really have any internalized idea of what even net worth actually means um, and how it fluctuates and, and, and all the different ways that it, the things that contribute to it. Because we, you know, we, we're still sort of very much in the, we earn some money and then we spend it on goods and services, which just really is not yeah. how millionaires and billionaires, well, I'd say billionaires or hundred millionaires really operate. I think being a millionaire is, um, not that different but it's just a, is yeah <laughs> it's probably what you being need a millionaire is just yeah you've just got a bit more but you're buying bigger versions of what we have um but right. you've got to well, be a you know a multi-millionaire and a billionaire to be mental so <laughs> the, on the subject of investing in money elon musk just buying twitter, buying twitter. for bits yeah, and giggles he, seems like a text donald you know, trump a good exit twitter <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So you know yeah, what? just because he can. Do you know what? something? Something I think is um, something I'm excited about for you, Ivanka Magic. Oh yes, which go I on. Will, I will say on the podcast <laughs> because is is that you've unpinned unpinned the Donald Trump tweet? Because I have. I have. As much yes. as admirable as and catalytic as your response to Donald Trump and the surrounding press, uh, you know, occasional podcast hosting because your name is Ivanka. I yeah. um is I I am excited for you to actually to be um uh, known on your own terms once you know you're once you're doing you've got this book out and you're appearing on some other podcasts and sort of getting out there as Ivanka Magic not as someone with the same name as uh someone some terrible awful <laughs> some awful person because it's it's such a it's one of those it's such a sort of it was such a silly thing, isn't it? Really, that whole situation. It is such a silly thing. That I'm, yeah. I'm just excited I, for, yeah. for for the next step for you. <laughs> yeah, I think it was uh, like uh, uh, I I think I will be forever pleased with with how how I responded in the moment, hmm. but it is not relevant to who I am. <laughs> exactly, and newcomers, if anyone's not aware. Like Ivanka got uh, Trump t retweeted a tweet that had was at Ivanka, uh, at, but with that with a space before Trump, and then the press in the UK picked up on that and you know started ringing Ivanka for interviews and stuff. So it's, it was sort of like Trump was careless and like suddenly uh, you know it's it's such a silly situation, isn't it? It's like. But you know, we I made Piers Morgan talk about climate change of a morning in the, you know, like so. It was, you know, it's that it's what that, you do with it. What you do it was with the, the response. Stupidity it's of what the you do world. with the stupidity. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, so. Yes, I, I think in that in that. But yeah, I I, um, I agree. I mean, it's nothing. Uh, it's it's a good story. It will remain a story, a yeah, good yeah, story. Good but that's all it is. Uh, so yeah, I move to the a, next step. Next. My book is out. Is going to be Ivanka's new pin tweet. Oh, yes, no yes. <laughs> <laughs> Buy my book. Yeah. My, uh, pin tweet, <laughs> my pin tweet is my pin tweet of tweets, and I do not understand. I've, uh, it's a mess, chronological nightmare. Uh, that's supposed to be a nice readable thing. Um, I'm going to scroll through and see if see what pops out. I, I'd love to switch to show the stream, the website, um, and just see if there's well, anything. Well, I, I did. I scrolled yeah. down and I, I met you on a. I, I've been scrolling up and down through it while we've been chatting. Yeah. And I think things like um, not not looking at any particular episode, but mm. another thing I've been come more become more comfortable with over the last. 200 episodes of talking to you is my relationship to religion right which is quite i th i hadn't realized you know it's perhaps you know the, well no i think i'll it, it's it's i was going to say perhaps it's also to do with my age and things but it's like i'm okay with not being religious yeah <laughs> i've always i've always i've never been religious but i've always wondered if i should be or if right. I was missing out on something, or mm. is there a whole part of my education that is missing, or mm. you know, like uh, I don't know, some sort of genetic Catholic guilt that's <laughs> you know at no point being brought to me by by anybody teaching me about Catholicism, but only by I don't know what some nebulous flat you know cloud of Catholicism that floats around near me by virtue of my 
more distant family, like cousins, right, aunties, right. uncles, not my immediate Facebook. family. Yeah. But I'm like, do you know what? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Would you say I've been helpful in uh, I think you've been helpful in what, that. I think... uh, what is involved in all that due to my... Uh, I think, I think you've, yes. Yeah. I think you've you've helped me years and years and years ago. You used the phrase you you associated religion with believing in magic, and I was mm. like, and that's that phrase yes. stayed with me. I was like, oh, I'm not sure I would say that to anybody who is religious. I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, I don't want to offend anybody who's religious. And so, uh, and I and I still appreciate that that uh, without religious gatherings in a small community, particularly. You know, it is a thing that brings people together. Mm. But I think the Catholic Church in particular does such a shitty job of it nowadays. It's, it's... And in the way that, that it has, I, I have no interest in participating. Uh, Institutions, they, you know, so that's my... <laughs> power, commercialization, all these factors. You go into a Catholic church and it's the first thing you see is the gift shop and it's, it's, sort of, and the, it's the collection plate and it's all these things. And it's, it's the Vatican was pretty like, you don't probably I, need quite as much of the world's art in one place. I think, no, but, I mean, um, I, and I think the, the nail in the coffin for me really yeah. was going, or maybe that wasn't the nail in the coffin, the, the, but the moment when I lost all respect finally oh. was going to my cousin's funeral who the who died of covid mm. we were at a funeral it was outside it was in the middle of the covid pre-vaccine i was wearing two masks i had a change of clothes with me i didn't want to take home to my mm. family uh, anything you know like i was v very uncomfortable being there i was yeah. incredibly sad and the catholic priest stood up at the front of this funeral without a mask on yeah. and all he could say about my cousin was that he'd regularly attended church yeah. Yeah. and I was like okay we'll bleep that um <laughs> yeah uh, no, I mean yeah. yeah it was definitely it's definitely like you know we're the experts in death so we're going to take credit for everything when we get the chance yeah, so, um, yeah. there's only one magic you have to believe in Ivanka magic. <laughs> Ivanka magic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, I like it. I Charm. like it. Um, <laughs> right. I'm going to say I'm going to say something that's definitely been hammered home to me um, over the, the course of this podcast is um, um, politically. I was yeah. always. I, I think I was very much one of those. Ah, they're all the same. What's the point? There's no difference now. It's all centrist. It's sort of like converged on this thing. And then we got, you know, Brexit and stuff. And you went, oh, maybe it's not quite as centrist as that. Um, but what I um, I have started voting, what I've realised, especially in the light of this sort of silver bullet hypothesis and, and when um, the uh, the circle, ah, I've forgotten her name, I should have. Um, you know the the the, uh, the, the the donut economics, donut economics particularly. Kate Raworth. Kate Raworth yeah. um, is that um, you feel weird about voting green because it seems like a single issue party, but the more I learn about it, is it affects absolutely everything, particularly economics. So this is why I'm now using my vote to say to vote for the green party whatever, given the opportunity because i want because it's not a single issue thing it, it it literally affects everything and it's something as as a sort of central uh, like a central focal point is so much better than um many of the other ways of looking at things <laughs> gdp and also watching that you know i think during the course of this i watched the um school of life video where it's like we, we need to design for a society of losers not for a society of winners we need to design a safety net we do not need to make more incentives to get rich like that that's fine no. that's what the money's for like that's that that's covered but really what society needs to do is um catch us when things are going badly um, because we're not yeah. going to be millionaires we're not going to be billionaires we need and that's why we all put some money in so that when things go wrong we can all you know look after each other and i think that's sort of that has been lost and yeah yes. universal basic income i like because it also gives me some money 
<laughs> Did you see Ireland's going to be doing a universal basic income type model for artists? Okay. They're just starting a trial. I don't know how many, but it's something like 300 odd euros a week. Yeah. Uh, to create what I make. To... <laughs> <laughs> well, but they, you know, so that they can uh, create and keep yeah. the culture, like, you know, like, so yeah. I, I, I mean, and that that's, that's why so much amazing music came out in the 90s and 80s in the UK, because we had a really strong welfare state and they were on the dole and they were able to be creative and make cool stuff. Which, and because yeah. otherwise music becomes this privilege that is only accessible to the, you know, the Robert, what's his faces of the world? The, I just always think of Robert Thick. Is that his name, Robin Thick? Thick. Oh yeah. That, that. I always think of him as like the quintessential. Like I'm just. <laughs> oh yeah, I made this track in my, you know, with my t with my producer, and here I am. Oh yeah, I just do the song. I do the walk, the talking, and then I, I get the models in and do the bit. That's kind of like that's that sort of the quintessential. <laughs> privilege of music uh being able yeah. to make music and it and it's a shame because it's uh it's, it's i don't know we could do some cool stuff if we didn't have to <laughs> spend a yeah, week yeah. fixing the bugs caused by trying to make the app sell 14 percent more copies so that i could maybe buy myself a thing um <laughs> yes so yes yes um certainly we can't Certainly, it's it's yeah. So it's good to have clarity on all that stuff. That is very. I feel like a value of this podcast was, at least if once in a once a week you um, don't, um, no, well, don't shy away from difficult topics because it's hard to it's hard to think about. Yeah. But and I think there's YouTube is is kind of cool these days for that because you can definitely find videos on difficult topics with much more uh, informed. Um, exploration than we can possibly offer. I see it has a Besco. Um, I, I will read out this, which says creativity has no part in capitalism. Only those who capitalists think can make loads of money can, uh, get the benefit of existing in their world. So sort of, um, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's capitalism does not like <laughs> anything that they can't immediately put a price tag on and they sell and say this has financial value and that includes yeah. music and that includes women's time for example <laughs> you know care yeah. work like all these things that the world could not live without capitalism decides not to put a price tag on anyway that comes back to raw worth yeah. um, and some things as well it does but you know go but in a i think the i still go back to that project i did in um Abu Dhabi a few years ago and going around a few, quite a few years ago now mm -hmm. going around where there is a lot of wealth yeah but very little it was, I don't want to cast a tar a whole nation with a brush but you know you go in these really fancy hotels and stuff there's just no good paintings there's no like there's nothing that is just there to, it's like you know took taking my daughter to an art museum for the first time because she was you know covid and forgotten she'd ever been to a museum yeah. and we walked in and she just looked at the painting oh, wow i mean that's what you want don't you you want a you want beautiful thing i'm not just beautiful some of the things were shocking and some yeah. of them were weird and some of them but we like we had an amazing time walking around i i certainly you know that had no financial value yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. I, I, I went. I, I took. I went with my um, two nieces uh, to the to an art gallery uh, a few weeks ago, and that was. It's, I love how they walk around going. Oh. Like the ones they gravitate <laughs> towards, and they're excited by it all. And it's like, ah, oh, art is good. <laughs> it is. And then we took. We ended up going off and buying like a book about mythology because you know it was it was a. You know, it had lots of different areas of, of art. And then we did have to talk about, um, you know, why this picture was so fantastically awful. <laughs> it's just like scary. So it's like, yeah, that's based on the myth, myth yeah. of whatever it was. And yeah. so, yeah, but, you know, they're all good. Nice. To, yeah. I think, you know, yeah. yeah. Important, really important. Let's do one final talking point. Because I think this, I mean, this may be a bit self-indulgent, but how are... <laughs> Should we talk about how we are different compared to when we started to where we or how our lives are different? Because I think we both had some pretty major evolutions to our uh, where we are. So you started off. Where how were you? We are 
I was in Brighton. I don't know what I was working on. I had Fridays properly off, didn't I? Yeah, we went to Meaning Conference. Know. We should shout out Meaning yeah. Conference, shouldn't we? We went to we that. We should, actually. Someone we should. Like, we went to Meaning should. Conference. Yeah. That was one of the triggers for all this. We went and we watched it was. people talking about the you know, environmental impact of different ways of doing business. And, and it was like, hmm, yes, OK. And yeah. we started um, the podcast. I still share lots of meaning videos to, to with people. I've learned, mm. I've learned a lot. I've been to a few, so I've learned a lot. Yeah. They're not back yet. Anyway, so, so meaning conference. can't remember what you were doing, but now. No, I can't remember what work. <laughs> but now I'm in Croatia. I, I think, I mean, what I was doing, what my circumstances are, I think are, 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 are a separate topic. I was thinking about this in terms of like, I think, what what I was trying to say in the beginning when I was being all rambly and not making any sense mm -hmm. was that I think I'm I am more confident. Be I am more confident. I think yeah. that's the way to put it. Like yeah. you know, I'm I'm happier with who I am. Yeah. In a weird way, so it's like it's yeah, been yeah. a weird type of therapy, a therapy that's been through topics. Yeah, yeah. It's so, like, you know, and it's like, what do I think about death, religion, investing, money, where, how I travel, mm. how I spend my money, yeah. other people, equality, all these topics that we've talked about. It's like made me, you know, understand more of myself. And that has made me happier with myself. Mm. I think. Good, good, good. Because I think I feel like maybe some places where I felt like I was like, I'm not even consciously. It's like I, I am a feminist or whatever it yeah. might be. Like talking about it, taking the time to read about it, taking the time to understand. It. It's like, yeah, no, I definitely am. Or like religion, <laughs> no, I'm definitely not. Um, yeah. Death, really important part of life. Death, mm. much more comfortable talking about death and yeah. like you know with you know I know because you know all of these kind of things. I think yeah. so for me that's been a very useful There's, element. Yeah, rewarding. Mm. Good. I mean, and I think that like my um, I mean, I've definitely got a new voice, which is what would Ivanka think about this thing that I'm doing? Maybe I should turn off my uh, studio when I go home. But, um, you know, when I started, I was I was on I was coming out of a, an, an attempt to quit my job for the umpteenth time. And I had a studio yes. in Hammersmith and I was trying to make music and once again, like just not getting anywhere with it. But um, um now I have actually managed to, I think, I think, I think I'm, I'm going to say it, not would, like I'm off the hamster wheel of working for other people and spending my time on things that I think are either just a bit toxic or a bit pointless. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. um, and, uh, and, and the, the downside is like, there's no way of escaping capitalism. Even if you work for yourself, you know, you have to sort of pander to, to what it wants in order to be able to sort of pay your way through. But uh, I definitely, you know, I have a lot more freedom to decide what turns and what, you know, to, to do it in a way that's in line with my values, which I did not have. Um, you know, I've tried it and I managed to crack it through this. And I don't know if the podcast was part of it or what. <laughs> well, but definitely yeah, in, terms I mean, of the pod yeah. in, in terms of the podcast, like, um, you know, I, I didn't like my speaking voice before we started recording. And I'm like, oh, that's just my voice. That's fine. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that there's... <laughs> but I think, I think the pot, you know, that... I mean, a lot of time has elapsed. Yes. So it's not sort of, you know, time. necessarily <laughs> down the down to the podcast yeah. it, entirely. But spend, like you were saying earlier, spending a, 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 a certain amount of time every week making yourself talk about things that are easier to not t talk yeah. about is is what I think that 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 that's the the activity that for us for me that has been the 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 one that I wouldn't have necessarily made the time yeah. to do might superficially chat with somebody about something if the planets aligned but actually going right okay we've got to talk about investing which is difficult it's difficult <laughs> in a way of me going Oh, that we have to, uh, which is not the same as talking about racism or pride. Yeah, pride was yeah. an interesting, you know, yeah, the, yeah. but but you know, and things that you might not think are difficult to talk about. Yeah, but when so, you start talking yeah. about them, it's like so you know. to, to tie. I think I've got a ribbon to tie on this, which is um, the irony of 
uh, thinking about difficult things once a week is that it's it is slightly easier to sleep at night because it doesn't all catch up to you <laughs> when you're done, when you're trying to get to sleep. You've actually you, like there's a bit less of that kind of like gnawing oh god all this is going on and i haven't even looked at it and like you're actually the fact that you know we, we've made that space to engage with this stuff that it would be very easy to avoid um has made it a little bit easier to sort of make peace with yeah. some of the what we can control and what we can't um which yeah. has been i think i think very um important and i hope yeah. we can still Wait. continue to talk about these things whether or not we uh continue to record it record them <laughs> but yes. now i feel like all nostalgic and like well, well, maybe we need to maybe we, should, maybe we shouldn't uh, end it let me play the title oh my music god and we'll do a long outro <laughs> so Thank you for listening right. to our podcast. What, what, what do I? What, what do we want to cover? Right. So, if you go to grandpodcast.com, uh, you can mm -hmm. find all of the episodes. But also, now that, uh, that and you can click on you can click on the episodes and it'll take you to Patreon. Or oh, actually, God, am I going to have to change that? Because um, all of those link to Patreon posts, which are of the videos. So I think what I'll do is make all those Patreon posts public so that you can see the videos. And I'll take the YouTube channel and I'll make all the videos on that public. And um, I'll just turn off the turn off the stop charging patreon people um uh we have got a new podcast which is called can you see my screen oh, yeah we have and you can find that can you see my screen podcast.com and that is where we are we're st starting to talk and interview talk to more people and do something that perhaps provides a little bit more value to maybe you at work or you know with things that you're doing just calls it's a bit more capitalist no it's, it's a, a bit, bit more, more practical <laughs> it's, it's a bit more capitalist <laughs> because this is the sad situation we find ourselves in it's it, it is a time investment um to do a podcast and it would be nice if we we could see some something coming back from that and i think five years is long enough to go uh, maybe this is not going to go viral anytime soon um and that's fine you know, it's been it's been valuable to us and the few people that do listen. Uh, where can people continue to see your activity, Ivanka? People can come to find me at Ivanka on Twitter, mm -hmm. mainly, and hopefully in the not too distant future, you can come and buy my book, mm. but which we'll... is going to be called Something to Do with User Research. <laughs> <laughs> no title yet. Um, you can find me. Come and see everything I'm doing at squares dot. TV, squares.tv, squares.tv. I'm doing loads of stuff and it's crazy. And you know what the main thing I've learned from doing this podcast is I have what? the bladder of a small boy. And by the time <laughs> it comes to this point, I am <laughs> suffering quite badly. So on that note, I would like to say thank you to everyone that has ever listened to this podcast. For, yes. And everyone that's ever sent us a message and anyone that's ever turned up to the live streams. Uh, everyone, mm. especially that supported us on Patreon. Thank you so much, and uh, hopefully yes. we'll see you on the other podcast, and or like just you know keep an eye because we're, we're we're going to be doing something. We're going to be doing stuff yeah. one way or another. So take care. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Bye bye. 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 bye, bye, bye. Yeah.